What's up, guys? Welcome back to the queue. I'm Syrof. I'm joined by Blue. You're watching the queue. That, What's up? That rhyme. That was great. We got an interesting match tonight, guys. We got RNG versus BBB. Blue, how are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing great because we got this sick match. I'm in with Nera right now, watching uh, RNG come out the gates here. He's going to be using his rocket boots to kind of get over to Altar here. He's going to be capping home. Let's see what sort of action goes in. As actually the teams have this weird sort of line of skirmish, scrimmage here. This kind of football-esque on the map, watching red and blue attack each other. There was some action over on the mid, it looked like, but uh, we're in here at gate. You're going to see Control trying to bunker in on the midpoint against Renko right now. Let's see what Renko is doing. Renko Hibiki, the guardian for Team VVV. Of course, VVV, one of those teams that was kind of left for a little while, but now they are back in full swing, baby, as uh, Guild Wars 2 is coming back, man. Yeah, not running with the original roster, I don't think, but I think they do have a new set, and uh, they, they are the backing is back there. Um, but touching on that line of scrimmage that you were talking about just a minute ago, um, we do have that there. This is what that seems to be, at least from what I've noticed, is that sort of team's being a little passive and sometimes a little bit scared to actually engage the mid-fight because they don't want to get counter-bursted there as, after they do their initial burst, and that's sort of why we have that line of scrimmage go off in the beginning. Oh, so, see, I didn't, I didn't actually know that. That's actually quite good. It's also worth mentioning that uh, Renet finally implemented the clock on the points there, very similar to this. <laughs> Uh, to Skyhammer there. We're going to see Kruk. Kruk playing for VVV on this match. I don't know if he's actually on the roster or not. He is stealth over an altar, trying to keep Never Straight from getting on the point, but actually, uh, they did lose a tick there. This is so good because you can actually watch on the screen how far that point is being from Cap Kruk, though, whirling around using that elite there, trying to do so much damage on Never Straight, but he's just not getting in there. And of course, there is uh, his teammate there. That's Muriel's coming in on Kruk. Kruk is going to get stomped there momentarily, and there it is. That's Crux death there as Red Team is over just outside of Temple trying to take it back. And uh, here's Amelia Storm going in on... Nope, not quite going in on mid there, Blue. I think he's going to go up there and maybe get the buff or... I don't know. But here's Hibiki going in on mid. Of course, Hibiki opens up with that, that line of warding there trying to get control off a uh, knockdown there as he goes in there. And that's, a, that's quite a good strategy, man. So control is gonna have so control is gonna have to hold up against three people right now. Uh, we do have the blue team people coming in now, so it is gonna turn into more of a team fight. Uh, but they're actually I'm a bit surprised as to why red team didn't capitalize on that because they did have at least like 10 to 15 seconds where they could have bursted down control. So I was a bit confused as to why they didn't initially do that. Yeah, they they kind of hesitated there. That might end mm -hmm. up screwing them in the end. Control's a little bit off point. Actually, no, it gets on right before Renko gets that there. He won't like get that pip of decap. But Mila Storm and Digu got right here, and they are forced to be uh, reckoned with as well. But here comes Muriel's and Pure from the side. Uh, Muriel's popping that shadow uh, refuge there to come out, and uh, here's Pure, Pure Bleeds is in his um, death shroud form, going to be using those skills, but Muriel's is going to get stomped on the side there by Deku God. There's a bear finisher to, to finish it off, but uh, God, Control control is actually kind of low, about half health now, but uh, he's going to be supported by his, his Necro teammate here in, in, in Pure, but there's just not enough blue here to seal the deal. Control goes down. Here's a stomp from Renko. The Wall of Light is not going. It does manage to get them off, and there wasn't stability there, and here's Milo Storm getting the stomp off as well. Look how, what kind of went down on that, that point there for them? Uh, so taking a look at how, the reason as to why Control died, Mila Storm was pretty much free casting that entire time. She was pressured a bit by some of the guys from the blue team, um, but for the most part, at least from what I was noticing from the up above point of view, uh, she did have pretty open open wheel to free cast on the Guardian. And the Guardians, I mean, they can hold on to the condition damage that's coming out for quite some time, but it, when it comes down to it, just they don't have enough cooldowns left to take that condition damage, and they are just slowly going to end up getting melted down in the end of it. Absolutely. Now we did see Nero kind of go on that far point there. I would have, I think. I would have rather liked to see him in that team fight and have uh, have uh, Muriel's go on that back point kind of stuff because that, that AOE from the grenades is just so important. We're gonna see Steamhawk though and or company try and get uh, the upper buff here. In uh, that's so, which buff is this blue? It's escaping my mind. This, this is gonna love. This oh my god! I can't believe it. it's not still stillness, 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 stillness. I knew it started with an S. It's so gonna say Sanctuary because I saw someone <laughs> sank go off. But look, look at the grenades. This is what I'm talking about. Nero is popping those grenades off. Managed to get so much AOE, which is so great against those Spirit Rangers as you are damaging the spirits as well. And there is actually that's uh looks to be Renko's going down. The Wall of Light did go off. Did not push anyone back. And here's the snow. He gets res there uh, by the Nature Spirit. And we'll see if he can if anyone can sort of get him down. Yep, that's Nero getting him down. Nero down himself. Control, are you going to get this stomp? No, you're standing there. You can almost get something. 
Get the and now this and Wesley Healer doesn't go off either. And to, and to jump in real quick, this is attributing as to why AoE is so strong in the meta right now. Just because you see his bodies dropping left and right, mainly because of the AoE that's there. AoE counters so much, and it's just so strong at the moment. And I think that's why we're seeing all these bodies dropping. You saw the grenades, you saw the spirits coming out of there, Absolutely. and it it just it just attributes to how crazy some team fights can be at the moment with the current meta. Preach blue, because that when you have an objective that's a single point like stillness up here on top, it's gonna force that AoE. Like it it. You just are in a small area. Yeah. But there's the uh, the Wump, the giant finisher from either Muriel's or, or Control here. Muriel's will finally get stillness, but Blue Team does not have a point. They're quite behind here. It is 244 to 174, and Pure is now on here. Home point, Kruk is there. Ma'am, uh, to jump in, they didn't actually get the buff yet. That's still being fought over. Oh my over. god. Are... Muriel's jumped in at the last second to interrupt that, so that's still being fought for. Oh my god, it's time to see how I'm trying to get this off for Team BBB. We'll see if Muriel's actually... There's just so much from BBB here on this. It was just so unfortunate for Muriel's not able to get that before they rest here. Here comes Nero with the grenades, though. Let's check out what's going on elsewhere on the map. Temple is Blue's point. Alter is still Kruk and Pure versus... R and Kruk versus Pure, and uh, looks to be never straight. But here comes a stomp. We'll see if it goes down. And uh, that's uh, actually Pure getting stopped by Kruk. And let's see what the big fight here in the mid. It's uh, Ranko and Mila versus Control. And si Steamhawk is off to the sides here. But here comes Nero to try and do something here. Blue team is really focusing on keeping... Uh, on getting stillness, or at least keeping VVV away from getting stillness. Because if VVV does get this, they will run away with it, Blue. Yeah, they are going to definitely go up at the moment. The score is looking at about 100 points in favor of Red Team, so Blue Team needs to make sure not to let Red Team get this. But they also need to keep in mind not to let Red Team 3 cap, because that was the issue when they initially started the team fight here, too, is that they ended up getting 3 cap by the Red Team, and they don't want to let that happen. And in addition to that, buffs are going to start again in 15 seconds, so this buff hasn't been capped the entirety of the time it's been here, and is now going to completely null out the second spawn, in addition, add the buff down bottom, too. Absolutely. What's interesting is that there's no one really on a point right now. Now. We're seeing Nero down on the on um, on Trank right now, and we do see Tiny Swordmock is right down there. No, like it looked like Nero and Mirios were gonna get a free cap of this, but let's see Nero is Nero real and. Uh, Actually, Mila Storm is coming in right now as well. Let's see this fight go down. They really need to get this point. If they do not get Trank, it's going to be such a hard fight to come back from as they will lose their one and only point blue. And uh, Muriel's and Nero are not really having an easy time here. Actually, Mila does go down. So blue team really needs this more than red team does, as you're going to see here right now. Red team's got a pretty safe lead, so that's not too much brushed off their shoulders if they lose this um, at this point. However, for the blue team, if they lose this one, that could be pretty close to GG. So they need to make sure they get the uh, they get this buff down here. Or, or the blue team needs to make sure they get this buff. And at the same time, at the top, they can't let them get that either. So definitely, as we're seeing right now, blue team is going to be on their toes. And a crock up top, and with the other guys down bottom, it's not being made an easy job for blue team at the moment. Actually, if they have, they will get probably three kills here as Ringo goes down. Diku got trying to res, you're going to get that res probably. Uh, Mirio's almost going down, does get healed by Nero there. Here's Rango getting feared off there. And the uh, blue team does get stillness. If they can get Trank, they can come back, and this will be an epic comeback. There is no one on point except for, uh, that looks to be uh, Pure. It's finally taking mid, realizing that Red is not going to be able to kind of, uh, they're putting most of the pressure here on the midpoint is what I'm saying. Not even on midpoint, under midpoint. And they're not able to be, uh, not able to kind of shell out those people to the points to deal with it. And so if Blue Team can can keep them from capping here, if they can take these points, uh, which is easier said than done because Kruk is now on Never Straight here on the mid, but if they can get these points here and keep Red Team here in the, the bottom area, this is going to be a way for them to come back in this game. Yeah, and I don't know if this is something that happens a lot, but I don't. I, I sometimes think that it seems emphasized way too much on this bottom buff. And what this is opening up right now for is if a red team or a blue team roamer wanted to come up, they could take either of the side points right now because there's no one there to stop them. Um, and this is sort of a thing that some teams have, and I, I think it's an, almost an issue where teams try go too hard for this buff and end up. And I was watching some solo queue or some uh, some team queue games earlier, and it was like. This guy, there was another team that managed to get completely back capped all three points because the entire team was fighting down there and focused more on that than they were on the actual point. And they ended up losing because of that. Absolutely. And we're going to see uh, Control getting stomped down here. Pure and Nera are, are now the only RNG guys down here, I think. And yeah, definitely. And it's just so much pressure over this fight here. This actually is possible for Blue Team to come back if Red Team continues to focus here. But uh, doesn't, I think... 
either still knows her trank spawns once again at 2.30. If they can draw the game out there uh, to there once again, we'll see what kind of goes down here. Of course, there's so many kills going down for both sides here. Nero is almost is almost going to die. He's going to pop in the water and see if he can kind of get away. Do you got also water rising him, himself there. Pure is going down. Nero, get up and save your teammate there. No, actually, actually does manage to knock the body out of the way of the stomp there. And Mila is still down. Much. We'll see if Nero can save his. No, that's not, he's not going to be able to save his teammate and he's going to be feared into the wall there and just taken from behind I think red team has Trank which uh, blue team kind of realizes this and they have uh, they do send control of the temple they're going to see if they can sort of come back just their caps after this Miraz as well is going to take the top off right now so he's going to grab just that like and Miraz is going to jump down but I don't think he's going to get there in time to contest it so red team is going to flip the points but they're going to get the bonuses from it so they got to move quick to get the, these decaps rolling right now they're absolutely lose. blue and you know Kruk is now on altar it uh, Pure didn't really quite get on point like he should have been there, but uh, I think he might be able to get Kruk down if he doesn't get feared away like he is right now. He's popping the death shot. Gonna try it. No, there's Kruk in the invis, uh, and uh, no, red team does manage to win this. Congratulations to VVV taking out RNG. Not quite the easiest team in the world. Actually, very far from it. <laughs> what am I saying? RNG is one of the best teams <laughs> in NA. I don't know why I was saying that, but uh, dude, RNG, you guys, very good people to watch. Very um, Both sides here. Uh, steal their play because it's awesome and it, it improve you probably indeed uh, I think what we ended up seeing there at the end was just really that um, I think we saw like I said blue team focused way too much on the bottom and the bottom buff and because of the end they lost it um, and it just caused a mad scramble that they couldn't make up for because the points were ticking too much out of yeah, their favor by the end Alright guys, so thanks for watching the queue. We will have more of this. Uh, go check out youtube.com slash cyphersc and also youtube.com slash doctor underscore blue. Is that your YouTube? My YouTube is doctor spelled with E R D O C T E R blue. All right, check him out. His Twitter will be in the description as well. Also, go to misspedia.net because it's the best place on the internet. Thank you, guys.